Hi everyone, it's time for today's video based on New York Times connection game. It's basically a game where you create four groups of four words from 16 given words. You have seen the thumbnail, so you know what the first group we are discussing is. Watch to the end of this video and I will also tell you the other three groups of four words, what each word means, and what they have in common. The following words are one with top billing. Headliner. So headliner for the show, let, let's say, you know, I don't know, Madonna is going to be there and somebody else. So Madonna is going to be the headliner. So headliner comes from headline. Headline is that, you know, like in any, 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 any web page, there's a headline, which is the you know, basically the title of the page, like a headline is a title, right? But then, you know, you can have headlines, news headlines. Just give me the headlines. The Prime Minister of India had some chicken. <laughs> That's a stupid headline, I know. Or, you know, we were contacted by aliens or, you know, so those are headlines. And then when you have a headline, then you have a whole bunch of your know, story underneath it. Of course, the word headline comes from head, you know, head, top, line. So headline. But then headline can also be, can be a verb. So what is, give me the hot headline. Give me the highlights, right? Give me the main points of something. But also, who's headlining? Who's like, you know, because that's why we have the word headliner, because there's a verb, headline. Who's headlining? Who's the main thing and what is the headline you know what are the headlines of the news and the next word for top billing one with top billing is lead who's the lead singer of youtube lead main who's the lead lead actor for the movie lead so lead can be can be a verb and a noun so i am the lead i am leader I am the leader. I'm leading this. Who's the lead? Who's going to take the lead? These are all nouns, right? But then, noun, I am the lead, right? Now, be careful because the noun lead, L-E-A-D, can also be led. And that lead is a type of a metal. That metal, that, that's where we have lead poisoning, right? Lead, kind of a type of a metal. So, and then... That's lead. Who's the lead? Who's going to take the lead? Right? That's the lead. But then the verb lead means that to lead, to be the lead, to be the leader. And then, you know, we have expressions like I am led to believe, as in I am thinking, you know, somebody makes me think, something makes me think. You, you are led to believe that you are going to be the next president or something, but it's not true. So to be led to believe, to be led to, I was led to you, right? Somebody led me to you. Lead, the past tense of lead is led. I was led here. And that's why we have leader, led. And then we have things like a verb like lead on. He was just leading me on. He wasn't interested, right? So girl, a sort of a bitter girl can say about some guy, he was leading me on, he wasn't interested. But then, you know, we have like the lead choreographer, which is then May. Okay. So I just wanted to say thank you again for watching my videos. I know English can be a frustrating language. There are a million words in this language and they're hard to, you know, it's hard to continue with English because, you know, whatever you learn, basic things in the future they don't really mean much because everything there's an exception so when you get frustrated just keep going i've been doing this for more than 40 years and when you keep going your english is going to be better than the native speakers because they were born to this culture and you are learning it actively so just keep going, keep coming back here, watch my videos. Also watch English language movies with English subtitles. Get rid of your dictionary, don't translate. Just do extrapolate the meaning. That's what I have been doing. Okay, so the next word for one with the top billing is principle. 
So, you know, this is the principle. What's the principle? The principle has many meanings. One of them is in finance. When you have, you know, you put some money somewhere, there's a principle, that's the main money. And then there's interest on top of it, right? That's the, you know, principle, interest on top of it. Principle is also the principle of a school, right? So headmaster, principal, principal is above headmaster. The principal reason that I'm here, the main reason, okay? I am the principal accountant. I'm the main accountant, principal. And then, then we have the word principal, not principal, principal, which is, you know, it's very, there's a Paul and Paul. Principle, principle means uh, fundamental truth, okay? Like this is the principle of gravity. These are the principles of, uh, you know, accounting. These are the principles of Kung Fu, the main tenets, the main important things. And that's why we have the word principled. And principled is a person who is very, you know, ethical, okay? And then the, finally, for one with the top billing star, you know, that's why we have movie star. Like we have actors, but then we have stars, right? If you have Clooney in a movie, he's going to be a star. He's not just going to be an actor. And that's why we have star as in starring, starring Harrison Ford, right? You put some other actor, Joe Blow is an, an actor, but Harrison Ford is the headlining lead actor, is the star. Who's the star of this show? Who are the main stars? So one, you know, you are my star. So anybody who's very, you know, highly coveted and doing amazing, they are star. Okay, so star, of course, is the, you know, when you look in the sky, your planets have stars and stars are, you know, things that have planets around them. Our sun is a star. Star is a planet that creates its own, its own light. Whereas planets like Earth don't, right? Stars, of course, you know, in American flag, we have stars and spangles, right? You have stars and then these lines. And then starry is the, the night that has, is full of stars. Starring, as I said, is to be acting as a star. Now, don't confuse star with stare. That's S-T-A-R-E. Stare is like this. That's different. So, hey there, friend. Nice to meet you. I am Hamid. Sorry for the interruption. If you are enjoying this video and are looking to, to take your English fluency and vocabulary to the next level, I've got something special for you. I offer personalized one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions tailored to your unique goals and interests. Whether you're focusing on grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation, or all around communication skills, I'm here to help you master English in a way that's fun and effective. Ready to elevate your English? Click on the link in the description below to book your session with me today. Let's embark on this journey to English mastery together. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more tips and tricks on mastering English. These are our vampire vulnerabilities, as in things that vampires are weak. Cross. Now, cross is, you know, where Jesus Christ was on. Cross, it was a cross. So cross is this thing that's a cross. And you use that with vampires. You're like, oh, you have a cross, and like the vampire run away. So cross. But then cross has so many meanings, right? Who's sitting across you? Who's sitting cross? Cross across the same thing. You know, you're sitting across me. You're sitting across to me. To being cross to somebody. It's just being really, really cross with me. As in, you know, he was very nasty and unkind to me. Cross. Did somebody get you cross? I mean, are you angry or something? Then crossing, cross, right? That's why we have crossword puzzle. You cross. That's why cross, this thing is cross because two lines are crossing. That's why you cross the street, cross the ocean, 
you know, going across. You have crossing, where you, you know, you cross. Pedestrian crossing, this is where people cross. So cross, again, is a verb and a noun. Cross, and then to cross. And then a cross and cross are close, right? To go that cross, to cross. So the next word for vampire vulnerability is garlic. Now garlic, it doesn't have a lot of meanings. Garlic is the thing you eat that makes your mouth not smell so good. You have things like garlic bread, and apparently vampires can't stand garlic. And so silver is another vampire vulnerability that vampires can't stand silver. Silver is, of course, a metal, a precious metal like gold and silver and platinum. These are pre precious metals. Silver, also my, my beard and my, you know, my, my, my mustache is silver, the silver color, right? So silver also, you know, is a kind of a unit of currency. You know, give me some silver, give me some money. And then, yeah, so silver is, you know, that metal could be also money and also the color silver. And then we have the expression silver lining. What is this? There is a silver lining here. And silver lining comes from the, the idea that when you have clouds and they're gray and dark, there's silver lining around them. It's kind of a line around the cloud, which is kind of silver and bright. The silver lining in this situation is when, when there is a bad thing that happens, but there is some good that comes out of it. That's called a silver line. Another vampire vulnerability is sun. Sun, S-U-N, is of course our, you know, our star, sun. And again, I've talked to you about this, is my sun, that's a longer awe, that sun, that's the sun, that's a shorter awe. So be careful with that. Of course, S-O-N, sun, is my son, that means, you know, he's my child, he's my male child, that's a son, but that's son, sunny, okay? Sun yourself and kind of like go under the, you know, under the sun, sunshine, sunlight, you know, the light that comes from the sun, sunscreen, you know, what you put on your body. These are all satirical publication, familiarly. Cracked, cracked is the name of a publication, and then cracked come from crack, and crack means like, you know, you crack ribs, you only fall down, your ribs crack. But also you can crack a joke, but just cracking jokes, right? Crack. You crack me up, boy, make me laugh. And then crack is, I think, it, no, actually, sorry, that's crack is really bad version of cocaine. That's crack. That's where we have, you know, crack, crack prostitute or something, somebody who's on crack and does stuff like that. And crack, you know, there's a there's a crack. So you have a crack. To crack means to break, right? Or to crack a jaw. But then crack is the thing, like when you hit a brick, then there's a crack in it, that line that, you know, it destroys from there. And then we have voice crack. It's kind of like, a joke or something. Cracker is a type of a type of a biscuit or kind of cookie which is usually not sweet. It's usually salty and savory. Crack also means to decode. Did you crack the did you crack the code? Did you crack this? Did you figure this puzzle? Crack. You look like you're on crack. Right, on crack, as in you on drug. The next one for satirical publications is lampoon. Now, lampoon is some, somebody lampooning somebody. They were lampooning, and there's, you know, I think Chevy Chase did a lot of these lampoon movies. And lampoon, when you lampoon somebody, you kind of make a parody of them, and a, a parody as in, you know, this is not Pink Floyd, this is red. Tiger or something stupid, but a lampoon, it's it's always kind of making fun of something and being satirical and lampooning, you know. Somebody was lampooning the president of America, lampooning, kind of making fun of him and you know, imitating him and stuff like that. Mad satirical publication is mad. Now, mad is 
I've talked about this a lot. Mad means different things in English, American English, in British English. I am madly in love with you. That's a British thing. I am mad about you. You could say I'm madly in love with you in America, but in England, you can just say I'm mad about you. Like I just really love you. But then in America, mad means angry. I'm really mad at you. <laughs> mad about you means I love you. I'm in love with you. I'm crazy about you. But mad at you. Don't be a mad at me. It's not my fault. Mad at somebody. That means angry at them. Maddening. This is maddening. This is driving me crazy. Of course, mad in the simplest thing is crazy. It's, you know, somebody's crazy. A maddening. This is a maddening process. This learning English is a maddening process. Madly, as I said, madly in love with you, madly, crazily, madman, you know, crazy man. Don't make me mad. Don't make me angry. Another satirical publication is Onion. <laughs> you know, that's why again this this game of connections wants to confuse you because Onion and then we have garlic, so you think they are in the same group. Onion is another satirical publication. Onion is, again, the thing you eat, kind of like garlic, onion, the things that makes your mouth smell funny. Onion is also a protocol for a browser that you don't want to be found. So the next one is club. The first one is med. That's why, you know, we have club med. And then med, you know, med could be short for medic, could be short for medium, and then Club Med, here Med stands for Mediterranean, actually, probably not, it could be Caribbean, I don't know, I don't know what it's, but Med is also could be medical, like Med Bed, medical bed, and yeah, and then the next one is Club Music, now music is, you know, music is what you hear, like Pink Floyd sings or plays, that's music, but also you have expressions, that's music to my ears. I am going to give you a raise. That's music to my ears. And then you got to face the music, man. One way or the other, you got to face the music. Face the music means that accept the responsibility, accept the consequences of everything that you have done. Get up and face the music. You got to face the music. And then, then we have sandwich. <clears throat> Club sandwich. It's a type of sandwich. Now, sandwich is, of course, don't ever tell your girlfriend to make you sandwich so sandwich is you know bread and cheese and ham or bacon or something so that's sandwich that's the thing sandwich but to sandwich so you can have a car which is sandwiched between two other cars or you can be i don't know i can be a short person sandwich between two huge bodyguards right sandwiched sandwich is the thing you eat with a sandwiched you know, the, the verb sandwich is like going to be in the space between two things. And then finally, soda, club soda. Uh, soda in, I think, parts of America, soda is soda. But then in, I think it's California, they call it pop. They don't call soda soda. Like when you get a Dr. Pepper, it's not a soda, it's a pop. So be careful because that's soda, that's pop. And... And even some, some, in some cities in America, they call it soda pop. Anyways, I hope you learned something. I hope you come back tomorrow. Bye.